The doors are open, the sun is shining, it is officially springtime, and that means that this thing needs to get back on the ground so we can do some driving. I'm Benny Obscene, and this is my 1977 Porsche 911. I pulled this car out of a crusty old garage where it sat neglected for decades. After plenty of wrenching to get it running and driving, a head-on collision with a deer took out the whole front end. I'm finally back in business, but there's just one problem. It's overdue for everything. Today's the day, I'm gonna get the front end all put back together. And so unfortunately, I just was not able to find room in the budget for new struts, but I did throw a fresh coat of green, Bilstein green paint on these. I tested them out, they're, they're still okay. They've got some life in them. Maybe next winter we'll do these, but these are ready to go back on the car. And what I also have is the turbo tie rod kit. Once you see the original factory part that comes out of this, it's a no brainer to go ahead and upgrade to a modern tie rod. So clock's ticking, let's go ahead and get started. This is the piece that we need to get out. This is the old original tie rod. And as you can see, it uses some weird like U-shaped thingamabob, looks like a tension rod really to connect. And also as you can see, it's pretty loosey goosey in there too. So it's definitely time to come out. Uh, the guide on how to get these out is you're supposed to bend this down and then use it as its own wrench. Uh, as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff in the way, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. One eternity later. That sucked. Here is the trick. You can't just turn this. It has a lock nut on it. So this little dude right here has ridges or little blocks in it, kind of like the ball joint. What you do is you jam a, screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver in there, whack it with your biggest freaking hammer, and eventually it'll break loose. Then, and only then, can you spin this bad mamma jamma out of the steering rack. Now that you have the old tie rods out, the next thing that you need to do, and this is medium important, is you take the new one and you basically put them side by side and adjust until they're roughly the same length, or as close as you can get it. What this does is when you reassemble everything, it gets, gets the tires pointing somewhat parallel. Obviously you need to go to an, get an alignment after this, but uh, if you get these close, then at least you can drive the car to the alignment shop instead of trailering it. And then what I also do is hit these with a little bit of red Loctite. Okay, so now that that's behind us, the real fun begins, and that is going to be a revisit to all the fun we were having with ball joints. So if you remember in a previous episode, I made this tool here just by grinding out a big ass socket, and what it does is it matches up with the nut, but this is going to be the moment of truth. Can I get this torqued down enough using my homemade tool? So this doesn't fit. There's no way. How are you supposed to? I think I gotta drop this again. All right, moment of truth. 184 foot pounds, my Harbor Freight torque wrench doesn't even go up that high. It, go, it maxes out at 150. So I've got some help here now. We've got Jamie Orr. <laughs> Check out his channel if you're into European cars, car adventures, just traveling the world for unique parts and unique cars. Give that channel a look. We'll link it right up here. But in the meantime, it is go time. So I'm going to try and see if I can get at least 150 foot-pounds on this before it snaps and breaks and pokes my eye out. Uh, so keep your fingers crossed. Do not try this at home. Is that even going to clear? We'll do the first 100, whatever you can do by hand. Right. Let's see if it even are... Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> now it's janky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect! Yeah! So, <laughs> 150 plus or minus. 150 plus or minus! So then... Should I try and go for the quarter sure. turn? go ahead. I'll let you... It's coming off, that's it. <laughs> Alright! Totally safe. Well, that got interesting really fast. Huge thanks to Jamie for his help with working the jack and making sure that the contraption stayed together safe. Well, certainly not safely, but at least it stayed together. Nobody got hurt. Got the safety glasses on anyway. So where do we end up? The tool worked, sort of. Um, I was able to get to that 150 foot-pounds. Obviously, the target's 184, but my torque wrench only goes up to 150, and it's probably not even accurate at that. The, the car desperately needs an alignment anyway, so I think the plan is when it's in for the alignment, just have them snug up the ball joint with uh, you know whatever proper snap-on tools that they've got laying around. All that's left up front here, get everything back together, put it all back together. I'm taking some time to clean different things up, like I sprayed these brake shields. Um, I sprayed the brake calipers. These have been red for way too many years. Um, yeah, but now they're back to the, the normal silver color. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back together, get the front end finished up. Stay tuned. Up next, we've got to do the back end. That's going to be new spring plates, new spring plate, spring plate bushings, and uh, just tidying up back there as well. If you're into this, like, share, subscribe, check out Jamie's channel, and I will see you next time.